Hello and welcome to NDTV. I'm Rohit Khilnani. Joining me is such a talented bunch. It's my privilege to host this and ask questions to some of the best brains from the entertainment industry. Mr. Samir Nair uh, from Applause, uh, filmmakers Sudhir Mishra, Inivas, Ashish Shukla. Thank you so much, firstly, for your time. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. I want to first, uh, you know, ask all of you about the times we are living in and the consumption of entertainment. Um, Samir, has has consumption of entertainment on OTT platforms gone up because of the lockdown? Um, yeah, I think it has because you know, I mean, you take a population of one point two billion and you lock right. them up in their homes, possibly. And, uh, you know, with little to do, then I think, you know, consumption, I mean, you know, on-screen consumption is bound to go up, both OTT and television. And as that's what we've seen. So people are consuming a lot more because they have that much more time. Right. Um, I think the big advantage that's happened for OTT in this is that while people were always used to consuming TV, um, large, you know, regular families were still, OTT was still a very personal and a very urban and a younger sort of medium. And that, you know, the pandemic has helped, you know, transcend it across age group. So, like, my mom watches uh, stuff on, you know, on the platforms and, you know, like, a lot of the families are doing that. And that's been a big boost. Right. I mean, you know, also, was there a business opportunity because of the lockdown? Did did the OTT players and producers like yourself, studios, did everybody grab it, you think, enough or not yet? Not really. I mean, in a sense, that see, we are, I mean, we are in the business of creating content and licensing it. We were right. doing that in any case. The shows were in the process of getting ready. Um, I think we got a bit fortunate. Uh, so thank God for that, that we had a lot of, you know, shows that were ready or near readiness. And the lockdown happened. So there was, you know, a sort of demand. But a lot of these deals were done before this pandemic and before the lockdown. I just think, of course, that there's going to be a lot more interest in this because people have been exposed to series. Uh, they've grown to see them, like them, and now they want more of them. You know? right. So I think it's been good. It's been good for the uh, streaming business. Right. Uh, you know, I'll go to Sudhir Mishra. Sir, uh, you have had quite a few releases. Um, so, so is this a good time for content creators like yourself, filmmakers like yourself? Yeah, sure. It was. I, I think uh, the streaming uh, services, the long form cinema uh, series, uh, back that they existed was good even before the pandemic. I mean, I right. for people like me, it sort of gave me a new lease of life. I was uh, not within the constraints of, of this to do this or do that. Uh, mm -hmm. I, uh, applause came along and said to hostages. Uh, I said, why not? We right. created a thriller. Uh, you know, I, this is something that I like to do. And then other platforms came around, and I did Serious Men, and and uh, there's many more, much more stuff that we will do. And uh, it's been fascinating. I mean, I I, I, I think it's what's really good. I think everything will coexist. Yeah. Pandemic will be over, right? Mm -hmm. People will go back to the theaters, and why not, right? Okay. Some mm -hmm. films are, you know, and, and, but you know, the streaming is now here to stay. Right. right. I think what streaming right. do is dismantle television. Right. It's, you know, I, I think that's that's more that the TV is is more in danger for that. And I think you can do everything now. You know, you want to be have an idea that takes <laughs> off for ten minutes. Do that as a short film. You have a mini series. You have a content for six hours. Do that. If you want to make a film. Do that. Right. I mean, anyway, our films was a lot of people say. What about theater? But anyway, most of our films were seen on pirate <laughs> You know, bad yeah. television, bad, you know. So at least, you know, now, you know, you're watching a great platform, great technology. You can see it on a 100 inch TV, get good sound, yeah. watch it good like sound. that. A kid mm -hmm. can see, you know, headphones right there, laptop. This is a new experience. People watching right yeah, here. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. experience, you know, on a phone. I mean, tomorrow, I think, you know, theatrical is great. And I, the, honestly, what how I work is I only know how to make cinema, right? Technological yeah. speaking, right? Mm -hmm. I, I, you know, when, whether I do hostages, I do serious men, I do anything else. Mm -hmm. I put that much attention to the picture, to the sound, to the design, to the production, right. to the costume. Right. Tomorrow you take hostages or you take serious men, put it up on a, on a full screen. Right. Mm. You still get, you know, so I mean, it's in a sense, make it future ready, you know, mean, mm -hmm. fantastic, no, it's, it's right, fantastic. Right. 
time for, for a lot of young people i mean it's, it's amazing i mean i it just, amazing. You know, it's amazing so, so it's much, amazing for our viewers also sir yeah so much talent so uh, shahrukh khan film a manoj bajpayee film right a pratik gandhi film hmm hmm right? or something bang on you know i mean maybe a scam would be more popular it is right so here you yeah, are right. it's equalizes change the whole game right yes take you know you know it's much more democratic and i think you're seeing so much here. and this is it's a place where you should come to for stories hmm 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 right want spectacle uh, circus don't come here <laughs> right. Yes, right. Right. It is a place, and it should be identified as such. So people will come yeah. and different yeah. move. If I want to see a circus, they go somewhere else. Everybody wants right. to see a circus sometimes. Sure. Sure. Yeah. So I'll, I'll go to Ilivas. You know, if you could explain to me as a filmmaker, how does this work? If you had an idea, did you go to applause? Is applause approach you? How does this work for directors like you? Uh, in for your case, case uh, uh, yeah. For your honor, case in this case. Uh, I've been approached uh, by applause. Rohit called me, okay. and it's an original uh, Israeli series. Yes. And he, when he asked me and told me about this show, I was uh, somewhere out, and then I came back. So when mm. I started watching the show, I mm. think it's like I immediately got connected to for the many aspects uh, connected to it. You know, for the main protagonist and the main mm. the culture of the story and the conflict of interest of the main uh, the character right. there, uh, which is being played by Judge. and all, mm. all these things intrigued me and you know this was like and i was also thinking to that is the web series is catching up that point of time i was mm. really looking forward uh, to get into a web series zone and this is the correct time and mm. it, when this offered to me now it was like it was falling in the line of my process priorities also at that point of time it's a given story it's a fantastic story to mm. just get into my digital debut and then because <laughs> it, it was fantastic i am absolutely glad that it's been offered to me to as a director to do this project yeah right ashish yeah. how did how did andekhi work out for you how did it work fall into place so andekhi was happening i think for, uh, more than a year before i got on, on board i think samir along with siddharth and gupta he right. was developing right. this show and uh, i was called and uh, by that time the writing was done i think uh, half of the casting was also done and okay. i was just wondering why there is no big face on the show but when mm-hmm. i read the writing those 300 pages i realized that this show does not need any big show like any big uh, mm-hmm. name in terms of cast because the writing was so sharp you know and so right. so humane that uh, we thought that this is gonna and because it was so honest it was very important to justify the script right you know, right that yeah that became a challenge for me and and somehow we managed to do that and right. worked out yes right raj yours was based on a book avrod uh, was based on a book um, you yeah. think ott is great for you know such kind of genre or did you know the kind of feedback that you got what was that like from ott release i mean uh, i was pleasantly overwhelmed actually right because uh, uh, we thought that uh, maybe the uh, because the film has the puri the film had just released a year back yeah. and uh, yeah. we were following it up with our own version mm-hmm. uh, it was uh, it was a risk that i felt personally but i think applause and everyone else who was uh, associated with the production they were very confident Uh, right. But uh, this, deep within, you have that feeling that one film, one project, which had come on the same lines before, uh, it's not uh, too far back, and right. it had succeeded really well. Uh, I kind of you know I was really overwhelmed at the, at the response that uh, that we got on this one, mm-hmm. and uh, mm-hmm. I mean I'm really grateful to uh, Samirji and applause for uh, believing in the project and handing it over to me for, for uh, right. doing it. Right, uh, Samir, you know uh, what is the uh, you all have released some 18 already in the top 5 uh, ott platforms you know uh, across uh, across platforms what is the idea how does it work if you could explain to a lay person uh, do you all approach people first or do you all uh, filmmakers first or do you go to an ott first take the requirement from top or take the requirement from uh, colleagues from who are making the film how does this work 
Well, what we've done is that when we set out to do this, uh, you know, the sense was that there are a lot of OTT platforms and there is going to be, a, you know, a significant amount of demand for content. Right. Uh, we wanted to build a clause as a studio that creates content and owns IP. And in that process, we obviously, you know, take a considerable amount of risk in the hope of, you know, some reward. Right, of course. And that's the model, risk and reward. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? When you take risk, then the sense is that rather than getting commissioned from a, a platform in that sense, we, mm -hmm. we follow the same principles, you know, we have as much consumer insight, uh, we talk to a lot of people, we see what things are going on, right. um, and subjects, we pick ideas that we believe will resonate with audiences, what audiences mm -hmm. will like, sort of, you know, watch. And we had a three prong strategy. So one was an adaptation of uh, international shows. Which okay. we believe travel well and find a uh, you know, sort of uh, you know expression in a local milieu. Right. The other one buying book rights and adapting them into series. Right. And the third was a degree of original series writing that was happening out of it. There. Mm -hmm. so, I mean, when we got started three years ago, we did all three at the same time. So right. like what we did was hostages, which was an Israeli show. What yeah, yeah. was your honor, which was an Israeli show. Yes. Raj was a book and Akish was an original series. Right. In the right. same way, we've wow. done 20 such series, uh, <laughs> 18 of them. So I think right. it's good. I mean, it sort of worked out well in the sense that, you know, I think we are also working with extremely qualified, competent and creative people. We work with a lot of talent. So I'm having the time of my life, you know, to <laughs> be in the same frame with these gentlemen is wonderful. And yeah, yeah, if yeah. we do a larger congregation, there'll be more such people. Right, um, right. We work with wonderful people. We understand different styles. They are all unique storytellers. They all come with skill sets. And we feel quite confident, I think, as a group of people of knowing what we are making. Right. So, like, we were making Andeki or Hostages or Your Honor or Abroad. We had a pretty fair idea that this is a good show that's been made. And right. now, fingers crossed, hopefully some platform likes it. Right, it's right. Cool. So, so it's sort of it's sort of okay. It's it's, it's good. And I believe this market can only grow. So, uh, when, when did you think that okay, there is a lot of scope here? Let's just jump in. Well, actually, this is something that I've been wanting to do for a long time. So, when I spoke to Mr. Birla, and a lot of credit must go to him for this, yes. is when I went and met him in 2016 with this mm. plan of mine that let's mm -hmm. create content and take mm -hmm. risk, you know, have reward. Right. Um, you know, in a sense, he is the patron of the arts, and he chose to back that. So you know, then with that backing, we went ahead and we started doing this. So mm -hmm. I think a year and a half, we you know, made a lot of shows. We made Criminal Justice, we made City of Dreams, um, we did The Office. Right. Um, you know, and now as we go forward, now the most recent release was Scam. Um, right. We've, we've done a lot of stuff. And I mean, I see, I think that there are so many streamers and there's such a huge audience here. India is soon going to be an audience of 500 million people. Mm -hmm. who can, Whatever, you no know, 199, 299, 399, or whatever they're asking per month. Right. Data so cheap, and I think it's a huge audience waiting to consume these shows. Right, you know? right. Because television is the daily soap universe. Then mm -hmm. there is this universe of the premium drama, which India never has seen because we missed that moment in our evolution. Yes. So, you know, we never had our HBO Showtime moment. So, yeah, that yeah. is happening now, right. and we are really fortunate to be here. Right. Before I go to the filmmakers again, I want to ask you one more question. Uh, obviously, I can't ask you your income, but is this a feasible business? Is this a good business to be in? Is this the peak we have reached or it will go, it will grow further, you think? Well, I think it's a one. I mean, see, there are two parts to the business. One part is the content creation business, which is yes. a part we are in, uh, which is in a sense a relatively smaller part of the business. Okay. It's a good business to be in because I think, you know, appetite for content is going to go hundredfold. Right, you know? right. So there, like if you think that we've made 30 or 40 or 50 shows in the last five years as an industry mm -hmm. and that lot, that's mm -hmm. nothing. I think this, right. this this market can absorb a thousand shows in that sense. Wow, amazing. So the part of the business is really about the platform. Mm -hmm. Because they are going to go and get the customers and, you know, they have a customer acquisition cost, the customer marketing cost, and then they've got to get subscription revenue. Right. So they got to pay for content, they got to pay for distribution, they got to do That's like the channel business. Channel business, so right. I think that think of this as the early 90s when TV was just starting. You know, mm -hmm. so yeah. not in that, you know, 20 years later, there would be, you know, 200 million homes connected to TV and, mm -hmm. you know, 600 odd channels and, uh, you know, right. one that 
that crore of industry. Right. You know? Okay. So, okay. Interesting. I right. Good. I, I, good. That's a great thing. Uh, I'll go to Mr. Sudhir Mishra. Sir, you spoke earlier in your answer about lease of life. Um, someone like you who has made incredible films, loved throughout, you know, across, you know, cut through, cuts through age groups, everything. Uh, why do you think OTT now has given a lease of life to someone like you? I don't know. It's beat me. I, 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 I kind of think it's the, the sudden, you know, there's a kind of freedom. You know, you, you're not trained. Mm -hmm. There's all these formulaic things in cinema. I'm too burdened with formula. Right. I'll go to E. I'll go to E. Nivas. Uh, you know, when you made Shul and Love Kile Kuch Bhi Karega, which is one of my, oh, you know, favorite movies. I really enjoyed that. Thank you. Uh, did you also? Did you also feel that there were too many rules? Like you know, Sudhir sir is saying, were there rules? Ye karo. And now you have more freedom with doing whatever you want in your show in your movie for OTT. Yeah. So yeah, there is a, there is a lot of difference. Uh, but you know, when it comes to a web series for me. Uh, because uh, it comes with a lot of responsibility also because there is a we have to constantly create or uh, that engaging drama you know episode by episode the right. writing and your subplots and your character consistency and when it comes to a web series writing i think what i because i am just one film uh, one show old but you know what i really learned still learning is like you know logic and emotion has to go hand in hand when mm. it comes to uh, sure. when it comes to writing great ashish i'll come to you uh, do you do, do you think this time this is the time where you can experiment with freedom because there is no problem of censorship there is you know you can just put whatever you want out there as a maker yeah yeah see uh, censorship should be relative uh, and uh, if we are wanting to create anything in terms of even when we were doing um, andeki we never had any such issues that ki agar killing dikhani hai to kitni dikha sakte hain nahi dikha sakte hain aur galiyan itni rakhni hai ya nahi rakhni hai you know otherwise what happens is if there is something gruesome incident that has happened theek hai usko dikhane ke liye bhi sochna padta tha ki isme kitna dikhaye kitna nahi dikhaye so those things are not happening so but yeah however responsible we can be with that so that thing happened for sure okay so uh, yeah so uh, one does not need to uh, uh, be um, intimidated by ki ye cheez mein censorship ki zarurat rahegi ya nahi rahegi but yes our responsibility can do it right raj raj do you agree uh, you know responsibility I, mean, i can't agree more actually because it has to be uh, yeah. because be, uh, we are also the audience to it our families yeah. are also the audience you know and yes, we have so to make yeah. sure that we are not cringing when we watch yeah. our shows i mean you know and yeah. i i really i mean i i uh, value this very uh, too much because recently i mean one of uh, my colleagues one of my friends he had seen uh, the show and he as usually complimented me the first time when he saw it and the yeah. second time a few days later he called me back again and uh, he uh, he told me that uh, i saw your show again and i was really fascinated i was so happy and comfortable that uh, i could see it freely with my family and he didn't notice it the first time the second time he did notice saying that uh, your film doesn't even have a smallest uh, abuse word mm -hmm. in your show so these are the things that even though they may not notice it instantly but subconsciously these things they keep working in the mind of the audience right right so yeah. uh, right uh, mr nair I'll, i'll come to you as the, when you're hearing these filmmakers who make different different content all four of them um, you know how much the, do how much should be allowed to be pushed because when there is no censorship there will be studios there will be production houses there will be platforms that will exploit it and one day soon we will have a censorship so do you think it should not be pushed till a point for content creation well honestly you know this whole censorship debate is that there's always been censorship you know mm -hmm. i mean i mean as a country as a society as a people we've always had censorship Right. In different countries, it's there in different ways. In our own country, it's always been there. Mm -hmm. I think it's the job of creative people to sort of break boundaries, push the barrier, right. um, sort of tell stories, right? Mm -hmm. To be disruptive, to be, you know, to be those things, and right. to do it without getting caught. Right? right. So I, my take to all of this is that there are stories to be told. Mm -hmm. um, 
you know, uh, just random sort of dependence on sex and violence and skin mm. show is anyway not our style to do. Okay. Um, here, yeah. I'm telling story. Yeah. If you want to see porn, there is you know, all the porn available for free. Absolutely. Um, so yeah. in that context, I think what we are focused on is really telling stories of telling uncomfortable stories, yeah. of telling yeah. you know, able to you know do things that to make you provoke you, to disturb you, yeah. uh, and do it within the context of societal norms that exist. Of things that exist, you know. I mean, because there are things. So, like people talk a lot about the censorship, yeah. but I don't think. Yeah. I think during the emergency, there was enough censorship. Right, um, right. There were yeah. filmmakers yeah. at that time who did great stuff. In the 80s, yeah. there were censorship, and there were filmmakers like Sudhir who did great stuff then. Yes. If you remember, Jani yeah. Bido Yaro, Jani Bido Yaro, made in today's context in the same manner would be blasphemous. Yeah. But it yeah. was made yeah. and it was put out there. So I think yeah. censorship is not something that creative people should really. It is the job of creativity to, you know, sort of. Yeah, you know, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, Ashish Raj and Inivas, uh, your next is a OTT platform release or a theatre release? Uh, I am I making am. my next show with applause only. It's uh, uh, OTT, and yes. I can't say much. It's a period adventure. So right. I. Okay. Yeah. Looking forward to that. Yeah, Ashish. Yeah. Yeah, there is Andhiki two on the plates, I guess. Uh, okay. And uh, apart from that, couple of more. Oh, okay. show okay. that I'm doing right now. Yeah, right. yeah, right. Raj, yeah. Uh, unlike my two other colleagues, applause hasn't called me for anything else. So I'm just waiting. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's going to be here. Yeah. <laughs> right. It's, 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 right. Mr. Yeah. <laughs> Sameen, right. right. lastly to you, what is the uh, what is 2021 looking like? Would you have enough releases to entertain all of us? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I think uh, we've got lots of exciting stuff coming up. Um, you know, all of them are doing stuff. We are doing a few other things. Um, mm -hmm. One interesting thing that we're doing, which I can tell you, is that Sudhir is going to be doing that. Is we are going to be making Sauda, uh, the okay. Indian version of Sauda, which Sudhir is going to be helping. Fantastic! Um, so yeah. that's that's something big that we hope to get going in January. Mm -hmm. um, and what E is doing is a very very curious kind of thing we're very excited about it we call it a spaghetti western um, okay <laughs> it's about tacos and stuff set in the 60s and it's, oh, it's wow. not a true story. so it's not a true story it's, it's a fictional drama yeah. it's an it's in a very exciting colorful space um, great and uh, there there are other there are other stuff happening we just announced a show today called uh, all my agent it's a french right. show about mm -hmm. the lives of talent agents, you know, like a co-on right. type agency, right. Yeah, right. and their uh, lives with the actors. It's a really Amazing. fun, sort of light-hearted show. So where can we watch this for the viewers who are watching this? Um, again, as I told you, when we started out, that we go ahead and we make these shows, and then we sort of, you know, right. put it out on platforms. So, right. so now this is all being created. Then there are a whole bunch of season twos that are coming up. Yes. So there is the yes. season two, there will be Your Honor season two. Uh, right. maybe right. season three. Wow. <laughs> Fantastic. So great, you know, I'm the I'm an audience first and then everything else. Uh, so thank you so much, all of you gentlemen, for entertaining people like us, especially in this thank lockdown and, and later also. Thank you so much for giving me time. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.